NTI day number 34, fifth grade social studies. Immigrants in America, build on what you know. Do you know anyone who has moved to your neighborhood from another place? Many people moved to the United States about 100 years ago. Arriving in America, millions of immigrants moved to the United States in the late 1800s and early 1900s. About 25 million immigrants moved to the United States between 1880 and 1924. Most immigrants moved before 1880 came from Ireland, German, England, Sweden, Denmark, and other countries of Northern or Western Europe. The newer immigrants, however, were usually from Southern or Eastern Europe. They came from Italy, Russia, Hungary, Greece, Poland. Some also came from Mexico. Immigrants were looking for work. Growing businesses like those of Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller offered plenty of jobs. Some immigrants also came to escape war or persecution. Persecution is unfair treatment or punishment. For example, many Jews in Eastern Europe were hurt or killed because of their religion. Jewish people hoped to escape persecution by moving to the United States. Most immigrants found greater po political freedom in America as well. A man from Sylvania expressed immigrants' feelings when he said, America is anything. In America, everything was possible. Immigration Stations once immigrants arrived in the United States, they went through immigration stations such as Ellis Island and New York Harbor. Government workers at the station had newcomers about where, I'm sorry, asked newcomers about where they planned to live and work. Doctors examined the immigrants to be sure they didn't have any diseases and could spread that could spread to others. Almost all European immigrants who came to the United States were allowed to enter. Asians moved to the United States to find jobs. Two large, sorry, I lost my phone. Asians moved, let me start all over there. Asians moved to the United States to find jobs too. Large numbers of Chinese immigrants first arrived on the West Coast in 1850s. They also had to go through immigration stations such as Angel Island and San Francisco Bay. They faced more prejudice than European immigrants. Asian immigrants, also on Asian Angel Island, had to stay for weeks, months, or even years before they allowed to enter the United States. About 25% were forced to return to their home countries. So in what ways were Asian immigrants treated, treated differently than immigrants from Europe? They faced more prejudice. More of them were not allowed to enter. And there they are coming in off the ships. Living in a new country. Many immigrants, many immigrants moved to large cities and worked in factories. After entering the United States, most immigrants settled near family or friends. Immigrant, immigrant communities in big cities grew quickly. Some cities, whole neighborhoods were made up of single ethnic groups. An ethnic group is a group of people who share a culture or language in the same neighborhoods. Immigrants spoke their native language, practiced their religions, and kept their country's customs. Immigrants lived, immigrants' lives were not easy. Some worked in dangerous steel mills. Others had jobs in noisy, dirty factories where they sewed clothing or made thread. Nearly all worked long hours. For low pay, making a little money, making so little money they could barely buy food for themselves or their families. Many newcomers lived in tenements. A tenement is a poorly built apartment building. They were crowded and unsafe. They had no windows or running water. Several families might have to live in one of them. Hard times for immigrants. As Neighborhoods changed. Immigrants faced prejudice from people who were frightened by unfamiliar languages and customs. Employees liked to hire immigrants because they worked hard for little pay. For the same reason, some immigrant, some people worried about losing their jobs to immigrants and wanted immigration stopped. 
So here's immigrant neighborhoods, kind of hard to see, but you have Europe, Syria, Turkish, Greek, then you have Russian, Polish, and other Eastern Europe's, and then Italian, Irish, and Germany. Here's Anna Roseberg. She was born, Rosenberg, she was born in Hungary. She was the first female assistant secretary of the defense of the United States. Okay, this map, I'm sorry, was of New York City. I just now saw that in 1920. So you can see how the different neighborhoods were set up. Um, laws Against Immigration In 1982, Congress limited immigration by passing the Chinese Exclusion Act. This law excluded or kept out almost all new Chinese immigrants. Later, laws limited the number of people from other countries. In 1921 and 1924, Congress passed laws that greatly lowered the number of Europeans allowed into the United States. These same laws also kept out of people kept out most people from Asia. Laws made it hard for immigrants to enter the United States and they faced prejudice when they arrived. Immigrants overcame these hardships and helped the United States become one of the richest and fastest growing countries in the world. They constructed thousands of miles of railroad tracks, dug deep coal mines, and worked in factories. What did immigrants do to help the United States grow? They built railroads, dug mines, and worked in factories. Why immigrants came? They came for jobs and freedom. Problems they faced were low pay, tenements, prejudice. And what they did was factory and railroad, railroad work. And why it matters? The United States today includes the greatest great includes the great grandchildren of immigrants who came in search of freedom and better lives in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Okay, here are our five questions. How many new immigrants arrived in the United States between 1880 and 1924? 25 million or 200? Number five, Asian immigrants, F, face more prejudice than European immigrants, or G, face the same amount of prejudice as European immigrants. Number three, immigrants had their own, B, migration stations, or C, language and customs. Number four, employees like to hire immigrants because they, G, worked many hours for little pay, J, could speak other languages. Number five, how did some Americans want immigration to end? A, they thought the United States was too crowded. I'm sorry, why did some Americans want immigration to end? A, they thought the United States was too crowded. Or B, they worried about immigrants take, would take their, they worried that immigrants would take their jobs.